Two cities battling vandalism tonight, Dalton and Chattanooga. Good evening. Thanks for watching News Channel 9 at 6. I'm Calvin Snead. I'm Kim Chapman. We'll begin with two businesses in Alton Park. There is reason to believe graffiti there is the work of gangs. News Channel 9's John Madewell joins us now live from one of the two buildings splattered with messages. Good evening, John. Kim and Calvin, this building is owned by William Cotton, the former county commissioner for Alton Park. And if you look at the paint behind me, you can see it is somewhat faded from what it was earlier today. That's because Cotton spent the afternoon trying to get the paint off of his wall. He tells me he has no doubt that this is the work of gang members and he wants the city to step up. If they do know who they are, then I want them to do what they need to do. William Cotton is understandably angry and frustrated. The first place he would start looking for a solution is in the home. First of all, you got to deal with the juvenile delinquency. And we need that parent court system put in place immediately. Those parents who are aware their kids are doing this, they should be held, hauled into court and prosecuted. Just a couple of blocks down the street, Southside market owner Mahmoud Abdullah faced the same type graffiti. It's white paint apparently applied with a brush. Abdullah has been in this location since 1991 and hasn't seen many problems. He feels this could happen anywhere. Uh, no, I don't like the graffiti or whatever you want to call it. The writing on the wall, it happened down here at Cotton, but it could be on, if they could do it on the, on the doors or uh, are these housing, the housing development, they would do it, you know. So it wasn't no thing like they targeting me. Back at Cotton's business, he has no doubt this is the work of gangs and the problems they've given Chattanooga. Now that it's here, it's like cockroaches trying to get them out. But they can be gotten out of here. His friend, Kirkland Robinson, came out in support. Robinson, who is running for Alton Park's county commission seat, points to a solution. He says the problem starts at stores and businesses where gang members loiter. So I'll go on record as saying some of the very places in our community that don't, don't benefit us at all economically because they're coming in, making plenty of money and leaving the community is the source of where the gang activity starts. Now, a member of the CPD Crime Suppression Unit tells me that they should have a suspect by this evening. Now, police say that right now this graffiti doesn't make a lot of sense. That's because the CPD gang expert says it could be the work of one of two gangs. We'll let you know what develops. Streaming live from Alton Park, John Madewell, News Channel 9.